Hi, Ashley. Hello, everything's ready on my end when you are. All right, sounds good, thank you. We'll give it just one more minute. Okay, it's 2.30, so I'm gonna get us going so we can um, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So good afternoon. I'm gonna call the Public Works Committee to order. And first things first, Ashley, if we could do um, a roll call for us attendance. Anderson? Present. Becerra? Present. Contos. Harp. Here. Hess. Jones. Present. Merritt. Present. Ramos. Cheryl. Present. Vasika. Present. Von Lossberg, West, Contos, here. All right, thank you. And Jordan is present too, Ashley. Okay, great, thanks. Thank you. And if we could put the information for participation, that would be great. We continue to meet via Zoom and uh, please know there are many ways to participate. Um, if you're joining us via Zoom, uh, please use the raise and lower hand feature to let us know you would like to provide public comment and we will um, allow for that to happen. If you are participating by phone, you can raise and lower your hand by pressing, pressing star nine and start six to mute. You can always call and leave a voice message for council by calling 406-552-6012. And you can email council at council at ci.missoula.mt.us. And these meetings are recorded and can be accessed via YouTube and MCAT. And approval of minutes, are there any changes to the minutes from um, July 14th. Okay, seeing none, those would be approved. Uh, let's take a look at, we have no public um, in attendance to provide public comment. So we will move to our first item on the agenda and that is um, an appointment by the mayor to the Building Code Board of Appeals, um, Bill Schaff um, has been appointed starting um, immediately and ex uh, the term expires um, June 30th of 2024. And I would like to thank Mr. Schaff for um, dedicating his time to the community by serving on this board. Um, Amber. I'd like to make the recommended motion. Thank you. So we have a motion on the floor, no public yet to provide any public comment on the motion. So with that, we'll take a roll call vote, please. Anderson? Yes. Sarah? Yes. Contos? Yes. Harp? Yes. Hess? Yes. Jones? Yes. Merritt? Yes. Cheryl? Yes. Vasika? Yes. West? Yes. 
That's 10 yeses and zero noes. Great, thanks Ashley. And that will go on our consent agenda. Our next and last item on the agenda is a construction management general contractor agreement with Western Interstate Construction for the 1337 West Broadway remodel project. And Jeremy Keene is here to present. Hello everybody, Jeremy Keene, Director for Public Works and Mobility. And what we have before you today is a request to review and approve a contract for a construction manager general contractor agreement with Western Interstate Construction to perform uh, both pre-construction design services and construction management services for the 1337 Broadway remodel. So this is the, the recompute uh, building that we purchased adjacent to the water building. And um, we're going to use this for some office space in the interim until we get um, other space uh, configured at the federal building and eventually at, over at Scott Street. So we're hoping to uh, create some space that will uh, serve our needs for the next two to three years until those projects are ready to go. Um, so this is a, a little bit of a unique contract. Um, the construction manager general contractor model is a little bit like a design build where you bring the, the contractor on um, during the design phase and then they, they work through the construction phase. So um, what it does for us is uh, lets us have more um, access to pricing and um, availability materials and cost of materials, things like that, to uh, work through some design options to figure out how we fit this within our budget. Um, we obviously don't want to spend a lot on this because it's temporary space, um, but we, we know that we will have to spend something to make it usable. So. Um, we've set an initial budget of $300,000. Um, that's quite a bit lower than um, some of the other cost estimates that we were given um, working with an architect. We think we can get it done for that amount. Um, and using this model, we think we can work towards that budget um, rather than uh, doing a traditional bid design build, design bid project where uh, you don't know what you're gonna be able to afford until you open those bids. So. Um, this is a process that's enabled in state law. They go, you go through two steps. There's a, a request for qualification step um, where interested firms submit their qualifications and we shortlisted the firms that were qualified. And then we invited them to make a proposal. In the proposal um, phase, they, they give us additional information about project approach, um, their schedule, We've got, we rank their qualifications and we rank cost. And so there's four parts to the four criteria that we use to select and our selected contractor was Western Interstate. And um, so this contract will, will get us going with the design phase and then also um, take care of the construction piece. And we'll, have, uh, we'll also have an architect involved to do the final drawings and submit for building permits. So. And there will be a, a small separate contract for the architect that's involved. With that, happy to answer any questions. Thanks, Jeremy. Could you touch on the financing of this, how we're going to pay for it? Yeah, so we are um, we're allocating the cost of this to each division within Public Works that will use the space. Um, right now, there's a budget request um, in the FY22 budget for this $300,000 project with uh, funds coming from the Water Enterprise Fund. But ultimately, once we know the final cost, we'll um, proportion those costs uh, to each division within Public Works. So it'll be spread among um, water, wastewater, stormwater, road district, um, general fund uh, to allocate those costs based on the number of FTEs that will use that space. Thank you. Um, any questions from council members? Julie. Nope, thank, uh, no questions. Thanks, Jeremy, for the presentation. Um, I am happy to make the recommended motion. Okay. Um, Sandra. Thank you. Um, I appreciate um, all the work that went into um, the bid process for this and the RFQ process for it. And I do really appreciate um, the, the um, the responsible budget that this is going through, but I was against the purchase of these buildings in the first place. So therefore I cannot support this motion. So I'll be voting it. 
Okay. Um, any other questions from council members? Heather. All uh, right, thanks. Um, Jeremy, I was, I'm wondering if you can maybe, since we have a little bit of time, elaborate about the rationale behind how the, the building purchase took place and how that dove, dovetails into your staffing needs. Um, I, I don't know if any of us, because it's been COVID, have been to your office and have been able to walk through. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering if you can kind of just elaborate upon how your team got to make, got to go through this process and, and make this recommendation to, to us. Sure, thanks. Um, so when we did the reorganization last fall, we um, added engineering to public works. And the plan there was to move engineering from city hall over to the Broadway building um, so that we're, so that more of us are under one roof and um, can work closer together. And that also frees up space in city hall for uh, community planning, um, CPDI. And so they have, they have space needs in, in the second floor of city hall as well. So, so moving engineering over here will uh, provide that space in city hall. Um, we're also hiring three new engineers right now. So we, we don't have desks for them right now. Um, so we're, we're completely out of space in the water building and city hall um, has other needs. So, so we made the decision to purchase the building next to us so that we would have some space to move into. And um, I'd rather be moving into a new building and doing our long-term plan, but this is, this is a stopgap measure and we, we have to have space for folks for the next couple of years. Thank you. Um, okay, let's see. No, we have a motion on the floor, but no public in attendance to provide public comment. So with that, um, let's do a roll call vote, please, Ashley. Anderson? Yes. Becerra? Yes. Contos? No. Harp? Yes. Hess? Yes. Jones? Yes. Merritt? Yes. Cheryl? Sorry, that didn't work. Yes. Basika? No. West? Yes. That is eight yeses and two noes. Great. Thank you, Ashley. And um, Sandra and John, would you like this on committee reports or consent agenda? You can go on the consent agenda if that's okay with John. That's Not fine. a yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that um, passes and it'll go on our consent agenda. Thank you. And that is, thank you, Jeremy, for the presentation. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Um, Sandra. Sorry, at uh, last meeting, Jordan said that um, we might be moving to a hybrid next week. Um, I didn't receive an email about that. Is that something that we're going to discuss later? Or? Can I jump in? I, I didn't yes. mean I didn't mean that we were doing it next week. I meant I meant soon. I said I, oh, okay. I said that this may be one of our last um, right, uh, remote meetings, and I I probably jumped the gun. Um, but um, I I'm, I'm being hopeful. <laughs> okay, great, thanks. And he's being hybrid right now because I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in the council chambers, but that's um, that's um, not related. Okay. Um, so that was our last item on the agenda. And with that, we would be adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.